GT7 content drip feeds killing you, new update added basically nothing. I must, so this is, we've had two people come in over the lap. We had one guy that was much ruder than you <laughs> last time I was still coming. Um, I'll get to that in a second. But uh, we had one dude come in and was like, GT7's a dead game, blah, blah, blah. For me, and this might be just my perspective being different. To me though, GT7 was never meant, or G GT games are never games that like are meant to be live service games. I just, for me, GT7 games are like, you get the game and then that's the game. And if you, any, like anything that comes after that is bonus stuff to me, to me. But I, I haven't been super into the GT world since like GT4, played the heck out of one through four. Um, didn't play five, didn't play six, and then played sport and obviously played a lot of seven. So for me, like, GT, when I buy a GT game, I expect it to like just be the game that I purchased. Whereas like when I buy Horizon 5, that's like a live service game. So I don't know, I mean, maybe it's just kind of a different perspective sort of thing. And again, maybe it's just because I've been kind of out of the GT scene for a while and people have gotten used to um, GT adding more content. But to me, it's like, I see the new stuff coming to GT and I'm like, hey, sweet. More stuff. Like, I'm not expecting anything, you know? The game's already phenomenal as it is, in my perspective. Totally valid criticism. I'm not trying to, like, shame you or anything. Um, but yeah, yeah, S3, yeah. The guy that came in yesterday was like, or not yesterday, last week was like, GT7's a dead game. It's a dead game. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's kind of my take on it is, I'm, I don't know. And maybe... I wonder if this is almost like a generational thing as well, where it's like, and I could be totally wrong. You could be older than me. I don't know. But typically, and this is, I don't want to like start off the stream with some heat here, but you know, I, I grew up back in the olden days when like you just bought a game and the game was the game. You didn't get anything else for it. Like DLC literally wasn't a thing. It literally wasn't a thing until like 2007. So I grew up in the era of like you buy the game and that's the game. And so I don't expect games to like continuously pump out content unless that's market, unless they're marketed like that. Yeah, millennials represent, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, boomer. I know, go back to bed, Grandpa Hokey. Um, but yeah, so for me, like, it's the same thing with Horizon, honestly. With Horizon, like, anything new, I'm like, woohoo, new content for Horizon. Like, I just, it's extra stuff. I, I never complain about free content. But I, I there's definitely a, uh, I don't know, there's definitely a different mindset of, like, games these days are being sold as live service games.